Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Double honor to the Apostle of Great Millstone and salutation to the Akhenat. They're pushing this truth sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. We are the Hebrew Israelites. We come out week in, week out to prophesy the downfall of America and to wake up these so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who are the true biblical Israelites according to the Holy Bible. And you already know our slogan, we hate this fucking country, America, so we about to bring it out, all right? Let's get it in. Come on, brother. Somebody get a GK38, man. Dog and make Yeah, man, so like the brother said, man, we come out here every week, man, prophesy the downfall of America, man. And one of the things that's going to... Um, that's gonna bring about the downfall and destruction of America is Russia, man. Okay, the bear, man. All right, that that big superpower in the media that um, everybody's trying to cover up and try to distract these people because of the election that's coming up, man. All right, Russia, Russia is getting ready to uh, to destroy America, man. To nuke this shit, man. And it's the Most High that's putting it in their minds to do that, man. Okay, because in the last days the Lord said that it's gonna be wars and rumors of wars, man. Nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, man. All right, and we live in those times, man. This is it, we living in the uh, best time uh, of all, man. The most, the most, uh, the most exciting times of all, man. Especially if you are Israelite, man, that knows the truth, man. Okay, that has faith in Yahweh Shai, man, which is the true name of the uh, of the Son, man. And you and you have faith in the name of uh, of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, man. This is the best time to be living uh, as an Israelite, man. Okay. America is about to be destroyed, man. This season about to go into slavery, man. Two thirds of our people about to get confounded like a motherfucker, man. All right. That's why the scriptures say, you know, he ain't give us, gave us the spirit of fear, even though there's some fearful times coming, you know. But scriptures also say, hey, in these times the wicked shall uh, mourn, but my servant shall rejoice. So we in that spirit right now, man. We rejoicing, man. We ready for you, you, you peons, you people to die, man. That's right. This is Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. Right, man. The prophets that have been before us, man, of old, man, in ancient times, man, around the time of Moses and Aaron, okay, even further uh, further back, man, around the time of Adam, man. The Most High had, had all, always sent his prophets out to prophesy, man, okay, since the foundation of the world, brother. You about to get that in Luke? Go ahead, get it, man. <laughs> this is Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord Yahweh of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. Right, man, and that's going into the birth of Yahweh Shai, man. So that lets you know who Yahweh Shai came for, man. He has visited and redeemed his people, man. Go ahead. And have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. <laughs> verse 70. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Right, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which uh, which have spake uh, since the world began, man. All right, G going back to Adam in the garden, man. All right, the voice of the Lord walking in the, in, uh, in the garden in the cool of the day, man. The Lord always sent his prophets out to let these people know, to let people know what was going to happen before it happened, man. Okay, so that the Lord could get glorified at the end, man. All right, because they were uh, um, prophesied in the name of the of the heavenly Father Yahweh, man. All right, by the Spirit of Yahweh Shai, man. So when so when whatever uh, came to pass came to pass, they couldn't give a praise to any of, of the other false gods, man. All right. Yeah, we we about to get possessed up here. Right. Go possessed. Ahead. Verse uh, seventy one, that we should be we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. 72, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember the Holy Covenant. That's a cut right there, man. The Lord only came for Israel, man. All right, to save us from our enemies, man. Good. Okay, to, to, uh, to save us from the hands of all those that hate us, man. All right, so that he might, uh, so that we, uh, the Most High might perform his mercy upon upon the children of Israel that he promised to the fathers, which are Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. That's why Yahweh Shai came to die, man. So that through faith in him, that the elect will receive the promises, um, despite the fact that they were sinners and under the curses, man. All right? But that's a whole nother lesson for another day, man. We're going to prophesy the destruction of America, man. That's right. right. All right? Uh, go ahead, finish that, man. Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms. Right, against many countries and against great kingdoms, man. All right? So the prophets, man, the prophets are... <laughs> 
the prophets are are, are are very important men, man. They're they're in the Most High's VIP list, man. That's right. Okay. For the Most High to set up men on earth, man, born of man and woman, to come out here in flesh and blood to prophesy against America, man. Okay. To prophesy against God, man. Russia, man. To prophesy against NATO and the EU, man. And against all these kingdoms that's reigning upon the earth, um, and, and executing their power over the earth, man. All these wicked kingdoms that, that got the power to, to pretty much kill any one of us, man. All right? That's how you know, man. That it's the spirit of the Most High that's doing this, man. That's right. The Most High's not for America, man. No, God's not going to bless America. Fuck what they say on the back of your dollar bill, man. Okay? Right. The Most High's going to destroy America, man. That's right. That's right. What? Against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Right, of war and of evil and of pestilence, man. Not of prosperity. Not of health, okay? Not a, not of another 200 years of the American democracy, or whatever the hell you people like to call it, okay? Nah, man. War, evil, and pestilence, man. That's what's coming uh, to the planet Earth, man, upon all the nations of the planet Earth, man, okay? Because the Lord brought it upon Israel, which was his holy people, called after his own name, man, because they sinned against him, because they blasphemed against him, because they worship idols, man. All right, because they were proud, man. So the Lord's gonna bring that upon all you fucking heathens, man. That's right. Okay, you are, you are, uh, you not with, uh, you not exempt, man. Okay, just because the Most High gave you all this dominion over the planet Earth, and and, and you uh, and you continue in your dominion and your wicked dominion, you think the Most High not gonna put a foot in your ass, man? That's right. Nah, man, that's not how it works, man. This is Ezekiel 38 and one, and the word of the Lord came unto me, saying. Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him. Right, man. The Lord said, set thy face against Gog and Magog, man. And that's talking about Russia, man. So even though we rooting for the Russians in this, war, uh, this Third World War, man, we rooting for them, man. We rooting for Bla uh, Vladimir Putin, man. Right, right. We rooting for them Russians and all his allies, man. That's hey, right. but guess what, man? The Most High is just bringing you into this war to get rid of you, man. Okay? That's what we really want, man. That's really why we want Russia to go into the world war, man. That's really why we want Syria to go into the world war and all these other nations that's confederate with them, man. China and all of them. Because those nations are fucking proud too, man. Okay, the Lord said prophesy against them, man. All right? So the Lord's going to bring them into that valley of Jehoshaphat and he's going to barbecue all they ass, man. That's right. That's what we want, man. So yeah, man. Hoorah, you know, for Vladimir Putin, man. You got you got a, a blessing, man, so to speak, man. And that's, that's, that's scriptural, because the Most High was dealing with Nebuchadnezzar, he was dealing with Shalmaneser, he was dealing with uh, Xerxes, you know what I'm saying? And right now, he's dealing with Putin. That's right. So we, we hey, that, like the brother said, we room for Putin, man, because he's going to bring the downfall of this kingdom to help bring in ours. Oh, God, that's right, man. And, and he's doing it all for Yahweh's sake, because right. it ain't like Putin, unlike Nebuchadnezzar and all of them, Putin not going to have a kingdom set up. That's right. right. You not you not up next, Putin. China, you not up next. The Israelites are up next under Yahweh. Because the reality of it is, Putin is an Edomite. Yeah, right. The Edomites, this this y'all kingdom not. Yeah. He just he, you, the, uh, what to say? Uh, house divided, divided against, against itself. itself should yeah. not stand. Right. This is Jeremiah forty nine and twelve. For thus says the Lord: Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup. Or surely drunk it. Right, and that's talking about the nation of Israel, man. They whose whose judgment was not to drink of the cup. That cup is talking about the wrath of the Most High, man. Slavery, the curses, man. They have a surely drunken, man. Because we in this wicked ass flesh. So our flesh called us just to go off and worship all these other gods and break the commandments, man. Alright, so the Most High brought his judgment upon his own people, man. Those that wasn't even meant to be in this uh in this position, so to speak, man. Alright? Go ahead. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. For I have sworn by myself, said the Lord, that Basra shall become a desolation. Right, man. Okay, so, so the Lord said, basically, he brought the judgment upon his people. And are you going to be the one that's going to be unpunished, man? You damn Edomites that's ruling upon the planet Earth and you heathens, man. As wicked as you are, man. Nah, man. The Lord said he swore by himself, man, that brought that Basra would be a desolation, man. Okay, and Basra is America, man. That's right. Okay, ba well, Basra in the ancient world was one of the chief uh, cities of Edom, man. All right, one of their main um, metropolitan hubs, so to speak, man. They're one of their capitals, man. All right, so Basra is basically um, Esau's main power structure on planet Earth, and that's America, man. Babylon, man. 
okay? So Mossad's gonna turn America into a desolation, man. That's right. right. A desolation, a reproach, a waste, and a curse, and all the cities thereof shall be perpetual waste. I have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent unto the heathen, saying, Gather ye together and come against her and rise up to battle. Right, man. Okay, that's pretty much the state of the world right now, man. Everybody want to take shots at Esau, man. Esau want to take shots at Esau like the brother was like he was going into, brother. A house divided against itself. Okay? So you got Edomites that want to fight against Edomites. You got these other heathens that's, that want to fight Esau, get rid of Esau, man. You got, uh, you got um, the people of the Middle East, man. The people of the Asia Pacific region, man. Okay, you got uh, you got the, uh, the people of Africa. All right, all these other nations they getting ready to blow Esau off the map, man. Right, right. For lo, I will make thee small among the heathen <coughs> and despise among men. Thy terribleness hath deceived thee, and the pride of thine heart, O thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks, that holdest the heights of the hill. Though thou shouldest make thy nest as high as an eagle, I will bring thee down. Then saith the Lord. That's right, man. So the Lord said there ain't no escape and judgment for Esau, man. All right? The, the same man that goes around the world with the symbol of the eagle, man, that's the same man who is Esau today, man. Edom. Right. All right? The Lord said he can't escape judgment, man. You might exalt your nest unto, un, uh, as the eagle, man. Make your nest among the stars, man. With all your little space stations and shit like that, man. Most time he said he's going to bring you down to the ground, man. That's right. right. Yeah, more up. That's where you fucked up at. When you try to go up in the space and act as, 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 as if you the most high. You're trying to exalt yourself, because the scriptures say, lift not that, thyself on high. Right. Exalt not, not thyself, man. And that's what the so-called white man has done. And that's why your kingdom, as soon as you did that, your kingdom started to crumble. That's right. Verse 17, also Edom shall be a desolation. Everyone that goes <coughs> by it shall be astonished and shall hiss at her plagues thereof, as in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah, and the neighbor cities thereof, saith the Lord, no man shall abide there, neither shall a son of man dwell in it. Right, man, so Moshe is going to get rid of Esau's power on the planet Earth, man. Okay, the Lord's going to make a desolation out of, e out of Edom, man. Okay, so wherever you Edomites are, man, the Lord's coming to, uh, to rain fire and brimstone down on you, man. That's right. Okay, so Russia's not going not, not gonna to have next, like the brother was, uh, was saying earlier, man. Just going back into what's going on right now in the Middle East. Uh, this is the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Verse 10. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. And really, that goes right back to Vladimir Putin because at one point, Russia was a, was a so-called, according to the world's eyes, a weak nation. But now Russia bucking up, moving their um, naval ships all up and down um, the Atlantic, in the Mediterranean, okay, in the Black Sea. So now they're saying that we're strong now. You got also uh, uh, China moving around. You got Iran. So you got all these weak nations now bucking up and saying, hey, look, we're strong now too. And why? Because they all got their nukes now. So now it's equal playing field. Okay, to go to war with each other. Yeah, and look, the uh, Filipino president said, hey, America has lost. That's the effort of him saying we sh he's strong too. Yep. Yeah. Why? Because he going to, uh, uh, he said it. He going to join union with Russia and China. Ah, right. They strong. So he's strong. Yeah. This is, uh, continuing on, uh, verse 11, uh, Joel chapter 3, verse 11. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Tither, cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord, verse 12. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. It goes on and says, verse 13. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get you down, for the press is full. The vats overflow, for their wickedness is great. And that's the reason why that war over the Middle East is happening. 
because wickedness has exceedingly great in the planet, okay? You got homosexuals, transsexuals, bisexuals walking up and down this planet, and nobody's putting them to death, okay? Especially here in the West, all right? And that's just been uh, being tr trickled out throughout all these other nations, man, giving them rights and shit. So that's why the Lord's uh, creating that big... Uh, melting pot of these heathens in the Midwest, in the Middle East, Slovakia, to destroy them, man. Right. And they're gonna be destroyed. That's right. That's right, man. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. So that's pretty much what's happened, man. The Moors is gathering these heathens into into the Middle East, so he can pretty much judge them, man. That's right. All right. That's why he said, uh, "Prepare the sickle, man. The harvest is ripe, man." Mosai, <laughs> Mosai, gathering you people up as grapes, so he could stomp you out, man. Right. 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 Okay. Back at Ezekiel. Uh, 38 and um, start at 2. Son of man, set thy face against Gog in the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him. And say, Thus said the Lord Power, Behold, I am against thee, O God, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. Verse 4 And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth, and, and all thy army, horses, and horsemen all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with with bucklers and shields, all of them hand, uh, handling swords. All right, man. So Lord basically uh, pulling uh, put a dragon rush into this into a war that they originally didn't want to uh, be involved in, man. It's a conflict that they originally did not want to be involved in, man. That's why I say he's gonna put hooks in our jaws, man. He's gonna pull you into into this war the same way a fisherman would pull a fish into his ship with a hook, man. Okay. Right. Verse 5, <coughs> Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them. Back at verse 5, it says, Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them. Right, and who's Persia, man? Persia is Iran, man, okay? They just changed their name from Persia in recent history, man, to Iran, man. Okay, and Iran is one of the, one of the nations that's allied with Russia right now, man, along with e Ethiopia, and uh, and uh, Libya, which which uh, represents the northern African nations, man. Okay, 